All right, here's something else that I want to talk. While we're going, let's go across the pond back to here. Oh, uh, here because oh, America yeah, first, from- or today go. second, because we talked about yeah. Russia first. Um, <laughs> this is. I, I need to warn you if you have uh, children here. I want to. I, I want to sort of look at the. The macro a little bit. There have been a lot of crimes that people have not covered. For example, uh, yeah. well, there was one where they, was there was another one that we don't even have in the show today. Was it Alabama or Louisiana where it was racially motivated? Where the guy oh, yeah, was shot? Uh, I think it was a black guy that was uh, well, of course after white guys. It was racially motivated yeah. in that case, but that's why you didn't hear about it. Yeah, um, and we are seeing more crime. We're seeing crime spike across the country. But I think what people don't, what people are missing here, is we've had ebbs, you know, things ebb and flow. Yeah, right with crime. Right. Yeah. But there is a notable spike here, and there's a notable pattern of behavior, and it really is. Right now, we have a culture where there's a complete lack of accountability, where criminals feel that they can commit what were once relatively serious crimes without any consequences, yeah. compared to you know Russia, where you're in a punk band and you never see the light of day again. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were basically told that they can do these things. Yes. By the government. Yeah. So, so uh, before we get to Walgreens, which everyone is talking about, this happened uh, Monday but I don't think the footage was really out there until yesterday. Um, I'm warning you guys, this this man uh, gets shot, a security guard, but he lives. You don't see him get shot in the video, but you do see the lead up. So mm-hmm. I still, if you have children around, I, I wouldn't have them watch this. Uh, Lenox Mall in Atlanta, I guess it used to be one of the, the, the better malls, oh. shot in the chest, uh, mm-hmm. point blank. So the story says they were demanding his Apple store card. I think you have to call. And uh, that is a rotund lady with a firearm, according to the police report. Call the police. Call the police. For people listening, it's very clear the security guard does not want to get violent. He's trying to avoid confrontation. Two people cornering him with a firearm. Backing up. And finally, you don't see it, but yeah, that's what happens. Uh, the man, no, he lived. No, good. He's still alive, from what I understand. Hey, can I can I say at this point? Can I say? Uh, can I say overweight hood rat bitch? When she shoots someone with a gun who is innocently yeah. trying to be nonviolent, can I call that woman a bitch? I just want to make sure that's not a violation of YouTube guidelines. That's a question. Calling someone, hey, can we say that that woman, can I, at least can I say she's acting bitchy? Oh, uh, well, that's, yeah. Bitch-ish. Blowing a Better. hole through a man's chest cavity. Yeah. Who didn't deserve any of it, by the way. And this is not an isolated incident. Um, this happened, by the way, Atlanta Zone Two. So I looked up some police stats from there. Uh, murders have increased 17% since last year. Jeez. Shooting is wow. 26%, but here's the kicker. They they increased from 2019 to 2020, 133% murders, Ooh. and shootings 164%. So total, you're looking at about 150 wow. and uh, 180 Change. something respectively since the riots have started. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. 2020 was horrible for most places. I can't believe they are outdoing that now. Really? I, no, it's I can't because going, I thought yeah. 2020 would be the worst. Oh my gosh, it's like a pinball machine. They're trying to hit the high score. I know. Yeah. Well, it's almost like they got away with stuff for so long they just kept doing it because it actually ah. has nothing to do with the cause. Dave. Yeah, <laughs> that's logical. Stop it. <laughs> and it's you, almost Dave. as though there are no consequences. Yeah. Hey, it's weird when you, you take away consequences well, from shitty people. <laughs> you know what I see there though? Two things that might two things that might solve that problem. Actually, you know what? Maybe three. We need to first, obviously, fix systemic discrimination. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, two, more gun control. And three, send in a social worker. You want to send in people who can do less than the guy who was just shot. He's a security guard. I ass- they shot Paul Blart. I assume he has some kind of a baton. That's what happened. There you go. Now you know. What happens if you send in? If you send in social workers? Who are less capable in the realm of physical violence? Yeah. Ever met one? Well, do they have a clipboard? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm in full support. Will they Send talk sternly to the individual? Yeah, I am also in full support. Yeah. Send them in. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no, I just would like to see. I think it's an important test. Yes. Liberal, yeah. That we see volunteers. if this works. Yeah. I mean, it's only fair. This goes to what happened yesterday, which has gone viral. Uh, to what? So that's an extreme example. Yeah. And this is another example. Um, uh, well, people don't know this. Anything under nine hundred and fifty dollars in San Francisco that you steal uh-huh. is no longer. Uh, basically, they can't do anything. Oh, I'll be back. Right. Yeah. 
Are you yeah. serious? Free reign. Yes. <laughs> so these people <laughs> shot. Uh, the, that guy, uh, the, those that security guard was shot by two people, yeah, and then here two two Walgreens security guards in San Francisco just watch as a man with a bicycle inside a Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. Take stuff. So you think you think someone comes in yeah. with sticky hands on a bicycle, you might say, "Oh, something's going on here." <laughs> Might be on alert. Better let him finish. Nothing <laughs> crossed their mind, as you can hear by the conversation. Here you go, San Francisco. Call <laughs> The head nod. Just getting cardio. Guy in the uh, man maybe. bun. Is he stealing hair color? The weakest thing ever. Stop it. Look. Well, He's not even in a rush with the automatic door. No. He's oh wait. Unbelievable. I've I've been I've been more uh frustrated, you know, more rushed. There's more of a sense of urgency <laughs> when I get an angry text from my pregnant wife. Yeah. Like, well, ah, stupid Walgreens door, this guy's just like Wait for it, it'll open. The most yeah. ironic thing is he brought his bike in because he's afraid someone might steal it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can just leave it outside. And this is this is something too that's interesting. You know, New Jersey was just voted uh, or it was just named best state to live in. Oh my god! <laughs> Who did they and I thought the headlines write themselves. But think about this for a second. This is what happens in New Jersey. In New Jersey. You can actually be sued by someone who breaks into your house. People say, well, because New Jersey has castle doctrine. No, no, you also have a duty to retreat. So in other words, oh, unless yeah, you can prove wow. that there was no, there was no back door, yeah. if you trip a guy in your house, you could be sued. We are now in an environment, like in San Francisco, where criminals are encouraged. And law-abiding citizens are discouraged from taking part in society. They're fearful. Yeah. They are afraid. And uh, this is, of course, true. You see that I was surprised. That mm -hmm. I don't know, I, you know, Twitter obviously has their thumb on the button. You could at least try and make the left look good because when Walgreens was trending, immediately leftists rushed to the defense of these people. So let me read you some of these 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 criminal pra if victim shaming is a thing. Oh yeah, perpetrator praising is a thing. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> so one guy wrote, "Organized crime equals one dude on a bicycle shoplifting from Walgreens. The real organized crime, preventing people from getting their medicine, is the pharmaceutical industry." Yeah, I'm sure he was picking up his ivermectin. Can you? This is the Kamala defense, right? Well, I know he's shoplifting from Walgreens, but Big Pharma. I'm like, the two aren't connected. Yeah, he's not. He's thing. not behind the pharmacy. Hey, by, by the way, by the way, you guys are walking billboards for Big Pharma. Yeah. Okay. Two companies, and yep. I'm not saying that the, I'm not saying anything anti-vaccine at all. No, but I'm saying you guys have no problem asking for mandates and passports with really only three companies, two that have yeah. a duopoly in the United States yeah. with Moderna and Pfizer. I never want to hear from you or Stephen. Stephen Colbert did a "Let's All Go to the Lobby" with vaccinations by yeah. pharmaceutical <laughs> name. Never again can you lecture me about big pharma. I don't care about your Kashtanga root or what you're doing with your <laughs> Ayurvedic medicine. No, no, no. When, when push came to shove, you guys became quizlings for two pharmaceutical companies. It's done. It's over. You're a lackey. Go home. Now, these are other tweets justifying it. <laughs> Regarding the Walgreens CEO getting a $25 million bonus, if you're concerned about looting, I've got some news for you. Oh, <laughs> oh well, there's a hot take. And then, of course, resident, resident pile of garbage, <laughs> Tariq Nasheed tweeted, yeah. this oh, Walgreens yeah. situation is one of those see what happens when we don't let the police do their job and kill those N-words propaganda stories. Well, I believe you're paraphrasing because I wouldn't use that type of racist language, but right. the general sentiment, correct. <laughs> Yeah, oh. and By also way, that's not what happened. He left on a bike with a trash bag. He of stuff. strolled away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. having, a, having a cop shot. handcuff him is not this. Like, tell me the yeah. story where somebody has been shoplifting and his behavior was like, "Officers, I'm sorry. I'll drop the goods," and was shot and killed. Tell no, me no, that story I, yeah, because I haven't read it yet. One. Right. As far as I'm concerned, that man bunned uh, guy in the bomber jacket that looks like he was one yeah. of the, the, the guards in the Santa Claus when the elves tied him up <laughs> with tinsel. That guy should have clotheslined this guy in the bicycle yeah. like Doink the Clown and a midget was running out before him. That's how brutal it should have been. You're going to lose your business if you don't stop people <laughs> yeah. from coming in and stealing everything. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well... This is something that's also interesting. Uh, arrests in San Francisco have gone way down despite larceny going up. So see that number? There were years where over 60% yeah. of those, those thefts went, you know, either arrested, prosecuted, charged. Down to, was it 17? 
Well, crime is going down, Stephen. They're not prosecuting yeah, exactly. people, so the numbers are good. Yeah. It's a good thing. So they've already closed 17 Walgreens in San Francisco. Some wow. people say it's due to theft. Some people say, well, no, you can't argue it's due to theft because they've closed a ton of stores in New York, too. I understand your point there, but I would argue they closed in New York also due to theft. <laughs> this is the we'll issue right now is people are afraid. They don't want to be in the nightly news and lose their entire livelihood. Let's let's be honest about what it is. <laughs> and I love how people separate. I don't know if if Walgreens, I believe in certain states, it's a, they're, they're franchises because of different pharmaceutical laws, but yeah. in general, it's corporate. But look, let's not act like Walgreens is the only place that's oh, been affected by this. When people say, oh, these giant CEOs, do you know what a franchise is? Yeah. Do you know that a franchise allows mom and pop shops to actually start up businesses without all of the overhead? Yeah. You know, when you go to when you go to whatever, it could be a Chili's or a Buffalo Wild Wings, half of these places are franchises. They're small business owners who just didn't didn't yeah. have didn't have the capital to start something on their own. You are hurting them. Yeah. People have this idea that you own a turnkey business and you're a multi, multi, multi millionaire. Right. Some people own three or four different ones and maybe make 15 grand a year eventually off of each one. Right. Espe imagine somebody who franchised the subway two days before Jared got arrested. <laughs> oh. They were like, we finally our paperwork. dream. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, our spokesperson did a what? You guys remember this started with Walmart whenever they locked up certain products that were high theft products. They were accused of being racist. Yes. And now, that, I mean, and they went and took it away and they said, oh, okay, I guess we can. I guess we have to allow theft now. I guess theft is now a social, yeah. it's a human right. I no, guess, it's not I guess. They are allowing yes, theft in San Francisco. I mean. $950. Everywhere. But here's the thing. $950, you say, okay. Fool me once. Another $950? All right. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Me, me think someone should keep an eye on the people coming in on bicycles. $950, three, four, five. It adds up. People don't yeah, understand. Say, yeah. You can lose thousands of dollars a day, and they do, and they're closing down stores. Can you attribute it only to theft? No, but I'm pretty sure it uh, factors into the equation. It really has fundamentally changed the fabric of our country here. Yeah. And we've even talked about this. This is just the one that you see, but it's been going on for the last several weeks. You, know, you guys remember they canceled cops. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for obvious reasons. Yeah. The show, yeah. But there is the reiteration uh, now that's been playing for weeks. No cops. And uh, there were quite a few instances uh, of what we're discussing in last week's episode. Tonight on No Cops. Oh, we're close right now. We're close right now. Right, there's something wrong in there. We record. You record something? What? Oh, okay. Do I gotta take the phone? Stay tuned for more No Cops. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.